Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick tip video, we're gonna cover how do you remove command buttons in Tableau? So let's just start with what is the command button? Uh, so you can see here on the screenshot, uh, at the top of your tooltips by default, you're gonna have these buttons here and they allow you to do a number of things like view underlying data, create groups and sets, do a quick filter to keep only or exclude and 90% of the time or more, I think these things are more dangerous to a user than they are helpful. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I can't tell you the number of times that I've been working with somebody uh, and, and maybe it happened to them or, or they're passing on feedback from a user of theirs where that person is just kind of messing around, clicking around in Tableau, and maybe they do something like this, like they click on a data point, which that's what Tableau is all about, right? Click, interact, filter, sort right? Have your way with the data, analyze it. But then they do something like this and they're like, oh no, like now I can only see this one bar and everything else is gone. And so uh, in Tableau desktop, right, you can use the back arrow, you can use control Z to go back prior to that selection. Uh, I suppose maybe on Tableau server you can, I should probably check that. Uh, but regardless, there these things are a danger, right? Because somebody could accidentally say include or exclude and not even realize that they've just kicked some data out of the view. So I would say, again, 90% of the time, I just recommend taking these out unless you have an advanced audience. You know, if your user's going in here and they say, I wanna create a group in Tableau, or I wanna use this to view the underlying data, um, then, then maybe that's a little bit different, right? But otherwise, what you can do is just go to a worksheet, and then you click on the tooltip tab in the marks card, this over here and then there's going to be a checkbox which says include command buttons right so if i just toggle that off and say okay i still get the full benefit of a tooltip but if somebody selects the data point they don't have those command buttons including the very risky uh keep only and exclude buttons which are at the top there so hope this tip is helpful to you unfortunately this is like a one at a time thing i was googling around it is just like one worksheet at a time you got to do this so there's no way to just say like, turn these off for my entire workbook. Wouldn't that be nice? So we can always suggest that in the Tableau ideas forum. Uh, so thank you for following along with this video. We drop new videos like this every week. Uh, also, if you ever wanna work directly with us, you can do that. Uh, we have office hours where you can just book us and work with us for an hour at a time uh, or more. We also do you know longer engagements with clients too. Like this was inspired by our work with the Auburn School District. So thank you for letting us use our examples and de-identify the data for that. Um, and we have classes too. So if you ever want to catch us at a class, you know, want to really dive deep with us and learn and master Tableau, that's really, really what we're here for. So uh, thank you so much for following along. We look forward to catching you on another video here soon. Thanks.